Thank you for joining us on Tarot Dreams 88 tonight. We are going to have a chill session where you get to ask um, questions and I pull a card for you that we can see um, towards our, what our um, week is heading, um, what type of energies we might encounter for the week to come. So um thank you for joining me on this sunday on the 21st of march and um, i'm glad that you can be here hi tony greetings hi nina if you would like me to pull a card for you and um you know for the week ahead or maybe if you've got a question let me know then i can pull a card for you um please leave a comment in the live feed on my youtube channel tarot dreams um and then i can pull a card for you Okay, so Tony is on Facebook, um, on my group. I'll put a card for you, Tony. Let's get this see. Okay, so Tony... Your current energy is, and this is a general energy for you, is the Ten of Wands. And with the Ten of Wands, it's basically a very difficult energy um, where you might feel that, you know, the earth is basically on your shoulders. It's a very difficult feeling. It feels, you might feel sad, you might feel um, a bit angry even and it's just like a heaviness that you might currently feel regarding the week ahead for you tony <coughs> you got the death card and with the death card basically it is telling you that you are in a rebirth of a renewal of a new cycle um so you are um basically completing and starting a new cycle in your life um, and this might be regarding a love relationship it might be regarding a work it might even be uh, a karmic cycle that you're currently completing then Tony you've got um, the three of pentacles and this is normally the teamwork card and that's basically, you can um, use it in um, your work situation, teamwork, um, in your family situation, in your current love connection, that it's required for teamwork to make something, you know, better or, you know, to help something work better for the both of you or in a current work situation. Then you've got the Queen of Pentacles. And with the Queen of Pentacles, basically, this is telling you that this is a, a, um, a Earth person, possibly, um, that is very nurturing. And um, this person is very stable and they are, you know, a solid person in nature regarding um, their emotions, their feelings, their heart, their thoughts. Um, but they're also a very, I would say, a courageous person, but also... You know um, they've got financial stability so this is possibly um, with the Queen of Pentacles uh, financial stability that's coming your way um, it might be a bonus at work as well then you've got the Knight of Cups 
And with the Knight of Cups, it's basically um, telling you that um, someone can present you with a, um, a love offer or emotional offer, possibly. Or um, this might be as well regarding your financial offer that's coming in for you with the Knight of Cups. Um, it is normally a quicker energy than a earth energy. Sorry, it's my black dog. And um, so, yeah, and it's basically a quicker energy like an earth energy, but it can be emotional, um, you know, offering to you, Tony, as well. Um, I'm going to pull you now the angel answers. Let's quickly see. Okay. Okay, so Tony, you got two cards. Tony, it's telling you it's not the right time yet. And you possibly need to compromise something. And this might be a compromise in a current love connection, a current work situation, a family situation. So, yeah. I hope this could help, Tony. Just quickly see the okay. Cool. So now Nina, let's quickly pull a card for Nina. <coughs> okay. Let me just quickly shuffle the deck. Okay. I think it's in South Africa, it's long weekend. Pleasure, Tony. In South Africa, it's long weekend, and I think a lot of people went away, possibly, because tomorrow is, um, in South Africa, a long weekend. Nina, you've got, so far, the moon. I'm going to pull more cards for you. <laughs> you've got the sun. <laughs> Let's quickly see. What else does Nina need to know? Okay. Oh, wow. You've got the Ten of Cups, Nina. You've got the King of Swords. And then you've got the Page of Wands. So basically, Nina, what I feel for you regarding the week ahead is with the Moon Energy... It's normally some sort of hidden energy or hidden information or hidden conversation um, that is not yet um, open for you to discover or to, to know yet what is the particulars regarding this message or this information. And um, But I do feel with the sun, it will be illuminated and um you will get the necessary information about this message within this week because something might be hidden in your current energy or the people that you might deal with but there is definitely illumination regarding that um and then let me just quickly check your general energy you've got the king of pentacles and that is your general energy nina and regarding that, that is telling you that this person or um, the situation is going to be a stable financial situation coming your way. Um, it's also a person that is, um, you know, nurturing, but also very direct. Um, and they basically, you know, are solid in their emotions, solid in their feelings. Um, and they are also very good business people. Um, regarding the King of Pentacles. Then you've got the Ten of Cups. And this is the Happy Home, Happy Family card for you. Um, and this is definitely something to look forward to. Um, you know, stability in, in all ways of your life. Um, happiness, joyous times ahead. And then you've got the King of Swords. So you've got two kings. If this is a love relationship, um, it can be a three-party um, situation. Um, if it's in a love situation that you need to choose cho choose between two two people. Um, 
but with um, the king of swords this is very, a very direct blunt person um, they are you know um, they don't show emotion um, they are very honest and upfront um, and also if this king of swords is presenting you with a message that's coming from the page of wands and this is like fire signs um, Leo Sagittarius Aries so I feel that the page with the page of wands, um, action is needed in some area of your life of your life, or it might be that information or this message is going to come to you as with the moon card. Um, while it's now currently hidden and it will be illuminated and you will know the information. So yeah. Okay, I see on YouTube there's three people. Hi guys. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Um, please leave a message in the live feed if you would like me to pull a card for you. So yeah, Nina, um, your week ahead really looks, you know, stable, happy, um, and a possible financial offer coming your way. So it really looks like a good week for you. I'm going to pull you now a card from the Angel Answers Oracle. Let's quickly see. What is the Angel Answers Oracle? Yeah, I see there's three people on YouTube now as well. Nina, it's telling you regarding a situation possibly to reconsider. Um, and I mean, you'll know best regarding that situation. And then also you got the card in the near future. So I hope this could help. Let me know. So yeah. You see okay, there's one there. And there is three people on YouTube. Gemini. Okay, let's quickly see what is Gemini's energy for the week ahead. From the 22nd. Okay, Gemini, you got, so far, the Queen of Swords. And this is um, a very stable person. They're also very blunt, very direct. Um, but they do have nurturing abilities. But they're also very good with contemplating and planning ahead. Um, if this Queen of Swords is planning towards a better future, possibly, you've got quite a few cards, Gemini. So let's quickly see. The general energy for Gemini, Pleasure Nina, is the Knight of Wands. The general energy for Gemini is the Knight of Wands. So this is quick, rapid action. Messages coming your way, Gemini. Um, information, possibly. So you've got the Queen of Swords and the Fool card. And in the same reading for you, Gemini, you've got the Fool and you've got the World. And Gemini, regarding this, I feel, normally with the Tarot, I'm just going to put it like this. Normally with the Tarot, you normally start your life path or a situation or a karmic cycle. You start it with the fool. And then you end it with the world card. And this is card number 21. And the fool is a zero card. So within this week, Gemini, for you, I feel that there is going to be um, possibly starting of a new cycle, ending of an old cycle. Um, that is basically coming your way. Um, this might be in work, it might be in love, it might be in a family situation, um, that you are starting a new cycle, starting a new beginning. Um, also, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, and with the Eight of Pentacles, this is telling me that you are working hard um, and passionately towards your goal. And you're putting in a lot of effort towards this goal that you might have. But you also have the Sagittarius energy, the Temperance card. And with the Temperance card, it's basically telling you, regarding, I feel, with this new life 
situation event that is like you are starting a new and ending of an old um, you need to possibly have some balance regarding that um, because we'll see with the temperance card this guy and I think this is Archangel Michael I'm not sure um, but he is standing with his one foot in the water and one on the earth or ground and this is basically to telling you you know um, basically to have balance but there's also you know two cups there and this might be as well um, a possible love offer coming your way um, so yeah because it's got a cup energy um, a water sign energy so for Gemini for you I feel that quick rapid information is going to come in for you regarding a situation it might be work it might be love um, information is going to come to you and you're going to receive it very very quickly with this knight of wands and you possibly need to take action towards this um, if this is a love situation Gemini I feel that you are um, possibly thinking and contemplating to end um, well it's not going to resonate for everyone um, but yeah, you basically are thinking of possibly ending a relationship and starting something new and you might feel that you want to work towards this relationship this new relationship um, the new person might be a queen of swords a air sign person Gemini Libra Aquarius so yeah if this is a love situation so yeah Beth's life hi I'm Cancerian will my relationship with R who's Libra changing dramatically let's quickly see Beth's lives let's quickly see relationship okay so this is a relationship question and I'm going to make use of my love universal love oracle deck for you as well um so yeah let's quickly shuffle the cards and let's quickly see let me just quickly get that for you as well my universal love oracle deck regarding love situations okay okay Beth's life. Let's quickly see. You are Cancerian, Libra. Let's see. Stitch, dummy fashion. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Okay, so Beth's life. What does she need to know? Yes, I think so. Beth, life. I'm going to show you the cards now. I just want to quickly pull them for you. Okay. So, Beth, life. The general energy for your reading is the temperance card. And regarding the temperance card, it's basically telling you that um, you need to possibly have a balanced outlook regarding this current love connection regarding you and this Libra person um, I do feel it has been a bit difficult for you lately with the wheel of fortune normally this is your wheel of luck and um, but also with the wheel of fortune this is normally a karmic cycle starting or karmic cycle ending um, and I feel that you are possibly in the situation that you might feel a bit stuck um, you know and but I feel that your Libra person is going to present you with this ace of cups and this is really this is really a beautiful card regarding a love connection um, and also let me just quickly pull you from my love oracle deck let's quickly see for Beth life Beth lives Okay, so what do they want to tell you? 
well your love connection um best life they have watched you always i've watched you always with love what else do they want to tell you please reconsider to be mine so um best life let me just quickly pull you the one last card of the angel answers oracle so they are asking you to please reconsider to be theirs and they have watched you with love and you've got the ace of cups so yeah best life take action i hope this could help let me know thank you okay so stitch dummy fashion let's quickly see will i reap benefits from my car accident anytime beth anytime i hope it could help okay so stitch dummy <laughs> the card that came out for you first is um i'm sorry please forgive me so i don't know if this is like the person that was involved with you in the car accident um but let's quickly see let's quickly see will you reap the benefits thank you let's quickly see okay stitch dummy you are currently in this nine of swords energy anxiety sleepless nights regarding your current situation with your car accident and you might be feeling unsure about a few things and i understand why you are possibly also reminiscing about the past past love person past situation a past work situation um but also you got the healing card and that's just the four of swords um stitch dummy and with the four of swords is telling me that you are basically in recovery mode now and you are possibly healing from the scar accident or a situation it can be a love situation as well <coughs> um then you've got the ace of cups and with the ace of cups this is um this might be a financial offer, you know, presented to you, Stitch Dummy. Um, it might be a financial offer, but it can also be an emotional offer. So let's quickly see what else do you need to know. Yeah. Okay, so Stitch Dummy, regarding your question, your main question, it's telling you to, if you believe, And also you got within the next few months. This is the timeline for you, Stitch Dummy. This is the timeline for you. Oh my word, I am so sorry to hear that. You, It sounds like you're in a lot of pain. Oh my word. Yeah, because when I pulled the card for you, the four of swords came out and this is the healing card um the recovery card um and i think also you might be thinking back about a past situation because with the six of cups um it's normally you know reminiscing about a past situation or it's like a possibly a past person coming back um into your life a soulmate or a twin flame possibly and I mean, with this card, with the Nine of Swords, I really feel that you um, are having mentally and physically a very tough time currently. Um, but regarding the um, payout, yes, the, the benefits, it said to you within the next few months. Yes. And you just need to believe in the process. 
So maybe I feel regarding this. Um, double check a few things. If there's paperwork that needs to be done, stitch dummy. Ensure that the paperwork are done correctly. Um, just make double sure. If there's paperwork that needs to be done, contracts need to be signed regarding something. Regarding the rewards. Um, yeah. From your point of view. Yes. Yeah. Yo, yo. Do you at least have the support around your stitch dummy that were able to support you during this recovery process? I hope you do. Just wait. Yeah, the thing is, if you are from South Africa, stitch dummy. Um, regarding, um, the, if it's, if it's a road accident fund, and I'm, I'm talking under correction, it can take a few months, as that previous card said, um, I'm glad your mom is there. I'm really, really glad your mom is there for your support to help you through this. That's good news. Definitely. But I mean, I think you, Stitch Dummy, you, you need to basically just now um, focus on the healing process first. Healing yourself, healing your body, healing your heart. Um... First, get yourself ready when you have enough strength and power within you. Then take on, you know, um, you know, the road accident fund is it, if it's in South Africa, or send the pictures as you said. Yeah, and again, the cards came out for you the Ace of Cups stitch dummy, and um, with the Knight of Pentacles, it's telling you that. Um, a possible financial offer is coming your way, but it's coming in very slowly. Um, and that's what I feel with the Angel Answers Oracle, that it's going to take a few months. So I hope it could help. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Okay, so now, while we're waiting for more questions... It's a pleasure. Anytime. 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 So, I think, okay, so I've done Gemini so far. I think what I want to do is, um, yeah, let me know if it's um, love questions, if it's career questions, general questions. Um, let's see what are we presented with the week, you know, ahead. Let's quickly see because I would like to see what is cancer going to be presented with the week ahead. Yes, Stitch Dummy, I hope you get better soon. Hi, Carl. Okay, let's see. Hi, Karel, Hanne. Laat weet as jy wil hee, ek moet vir jou kaart trek vir die week wat kom. Of as jy moendlike vraag het, um, ek hoop jy het koffie en ek hoop jy het thee, dan trek ons vir jou kaart. Carl just joined us now on Facebook. Huh. 
<laughs> Bring them on camera. Okay. God, I'll ask you so well, ne? Can you op my YouTube channel? Hey, that's short work. Op of YouTube. Carl, as you so well, ne? Can you op my YouTube channel? Oh, Kelly Ann is here as well. Hi, Kelly. You can go onto my YouTube channel, Tarot Dreams 88 in the live feed. Um, then you ask a question and I pull a card for you. Let me know. Bring them on camera. Bring them on camera. Okay. Shall as jy a kaart wil he? Let weet my in die live stream as ek vir jou kaart moet pull vir die week. Geboogskitter, Sagittarius. Hello Kelly. <laughs> ok, Sjaal sê dit is recht, hy kort ene Ok, ok Sjaal, die eerste kaart wat vir jou uitgekom het Is die Hermit En die Hermit kaart is die Virgo kaart, normally En wat die Virgo kaart um, Het sê vir jou dat Dis moendlik iemand ouwer in jou current circle Of people or friends Wat baie wisdom het, moendlik Um, maar het is ook een stadige um, energy met die hermit card. Dit is iemand wat vir jou informatie gaan geven oor iets. Jij hebt ook die magician card. En um, regarding the magician card, sê dit vir jou shawl, dat jij is in die strength um, om jou eie goals, dingen wat je design te creëren. Jij kan um, basically dingen creëren. If you want to. I'm going to switch between Afrikaans en Engels. It depends on, you must tell me if you would like me to um, tell you the information Afrikaans or Engels. Sure, let me know. But oké, okay, so. Um, basically, daar gaan ek aan. I'm going to go on in English for everyone to understand. So, Shaw, regarding the magician card, it's basically telling you um, that you are in your own strength and your own power to manifest your own goals. Yeah, you can create your own things. Um, as above, so below. And that is as above, so below. So, you are basically here in your strength. And you can make things happen for you. Um, but you've got someone, a Virgo person, within your current energy, um, that is supplying you with wisdom. Um, it might be an older person than you. Let's quickly see what else I shall need to know. Shall you would, you, would you like to know about love? Or, yeah. Shall you got the strength card as well. And this is normally the Leo card, and it's telling you that um, you are courageous, and you are currently in your own strength um, to take on a situation, an issue that you might have in your life. You've got the strength. Um, so if if you are presented with a situation, and and it fit, it might be a job situation, it might be a work situation. Um, And it's telling you that you've got the strength to take that situation on. You are able to see that situation through. Um, it might be a difficult situation because with the strength card, you are being very courageous, Shaw. But you've got your own card, the Sagittarius card, the Temperance card, Shaw. And with this card, it's basically telling you to have balance. And this card came out now the fourth time this evening. Um, you will see here, uh, he is standing with his one foot in the water and the one on earth. And it's telling you to have balance in this situation. 
that's going to present it to you with possibly this Virgo person. Um, and it might be an emotional offer here as well. With the Two of Cups, it might be a love offer as well. But it's telling you to have an outlook, you know, have a balanced outlook regarding the situation that's going to present possibly the week to come. And then next after show, it will be Kelly on Facebook. I guess it's show. If you were thinking about a situation, and this might be work, um, it's basically telling you to choose a new direction, show. It might be work, it might be a family situation, it might be a love situation. Choose a new direction. And I feel regarding choosing the new direction, Charles, you'll know best. And it's also asking you, Charles, to be in this situation very assertive. Being assertive in a situation is not to give away all your information at once. It's not telling whoever you don't want to tell everything. Um, it's basically the need to know basis. Um, regarding a person, regarding a situation. It's asking you to um, basically go inwards and think and contemplate before you just share all your information. Okay. Hi, I see Johnny is here. Hi, Johnny. So, sure, let me know if it resonates for you. Of it, of jy verstaan wat het sê, Shaw. Yes, Johnny, you may ask a question. Um, Kelly, if it's possible, can you and Cole come over to my YouTube channel on the live feed, if possible? If you want me to answer a question or pull a card for you. Cool. Thank you, Shaw. Hi, Johnny. Yes. I see you in the live feed. Okay. Okay. Okay, so basically, Johnny, you being Taurus, you are an earth sign. And with the earth sign, they are normally very stable, you know, people. But they are also... There's no gray area, normally, with an earth sign, um, an earth sign person. Um, they are very direct as well. And with your life connection, that is, uh, sorry, oh, the internet connection doesn't seem that well tonight. I see it's buffering. Sorry about that. I apologize. Um... Regarding your love connection, Johnny, she is a water sign, and you are an earth sign. I definitely believe it's possible for you guys to have an amazing relationship, because you will be able to guide her a lot regarding, you know, um, earth sign energy. Um, because earth sign people are very, normally, you know, they think ahead, they're goal-orientated, um, financially they're stable. I'm sorry about the buffering. It's We've got long weekend in South Africa. So either everyone is away, or everyone is on Netflix tonight, having watching movies. So, Johnny, yes. So, regarding you being an earth sign, 
I feel you've got possibly a lot of earth sign in your um, chart. Yeah. Johnny, between you and your life connection, that is a water sign, I see the sun card. And with the sun card, it's normally the, the most happiest card um, in the dull tarot deck. It's abundance in all forms. Abundance in love. Abundance in um, <coughs> money. Abundance in situations. Abundance in relationships. Abundance in family. So, Johnny, I think... Regarding your life connection, this is a lot of abundance for you guys, from friends to lovers. Um, you, I feel, Johnny, you might feel now. Um, you, Johnny, are currently in the Eight of Swords um, feeling. You are thinking and contemplating regarding this relationship. Do you need to take it further? Um, as you said, in the lover's connection. And But you can see here, yeah, I mean, this, you know, she, she's got like a, a veil around her eyes. But she are able to free herself from this. It's very easy because this is normally a mental energy, a mind energy. That you are. Oh. Yeah, you are currently up in your mind, Johnny. A lot about this love connection. Um, but I feel regarding your current love connection, you've got the Ace of Wands. And this is also a very beautiful card. It's telling you, Johnny, to take action towards your current love connection. So let's quickly, I'm going to pull you a card of my um, Universal Love Oracle deck. Um, let's quickly see what does your love connection wants to tell you, Johnny. Let's quickly see. Let's quickly see. Okay, so they are telling you we will meet again. Um... It's, they also want to tell you, they want to tell you, let's grow together. And you know what, I think your current love, love connection, Johnny, is possibly feeling a bit afraid. Um, you know, taking the next step to this commitment. And I feel you want to tell them that you really love them so much. I hope it could resonate, um, Johnny. But I feel that your current love connection might feel a bit scared um, going, you know, regarding this committed, um, you know, commitment relationship. So just take time, day for day. But you've got the sun card, and with the sun card, it's abundance in all forms and ways. Definitely. So I hope it could help. Let me know. Let's see. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you so much. It's a pleasure, Johnny. Anytime. Anytime. Okay, so there's no one after Johnny that I can see. Kelly, do you want a question? Do you have a on? You, would you like me to pull a card for you here on Facebook? Because I don't see anyone after Johnny. Or maybe I must just do. I, what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to do. Um, the cancer energy for the week ahead because I would like to know what is coming my way. <laughs> Let's quickly see. The cancer energy for the week. Okay. There's a lot of messages coming my way for cancer. Okay. Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords. This might be me as well because 
my birth chart is um, Cancer Sun and I've, I've got Libra in Moon and then my Ascendant in Sagittarius so this might be me as well with the Queen of Swords let's see this is my energy for the week coming <laughs> So let's see what else. So, okay. Then I got the King of Pentacles. This might be an earth sign coming my way. It might be a work situation, a work offer. Got the Queen of Cups. And this is possibly me as well, or this might be a fellow water sign coming my way. Because with regarding my birth chart, I am these two women. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Because your birth chart is very important to know regarding your birth chart. Because that basically assists you in your outlook in life. Okay, my recent past, I agree. Ten of Swords. Very difficult time. My recent past has been a very difficult time. That's my recent past. But a lot of messages is going to come in for me. And possibly an earth sign is going to come and meet up with me. Or they are going to present me with a love offer. Or a financial offer. Or this might be communication coming towards me. Regarding mail, WhatsApp, um, phone call. So yeah, I'm looking ahead for this week. It sounds good so far. Okay. Yeah, I am. I am basically live every Sunday evening from eight p.m and um yeah i mean we're just having a chill session um as you can see we've got we've got coffee and um we are basically just pulling cards to see what can what we might be presented with for the week ahead how i can um maybe assist you in the week ahead so the, the other card that came out for me is the Nine of Pentacles. And regarding this card, this is normally the single card. And it's saying that this person is practicing um, possibly in a very good way self-love um, towards them. They are looking after themselves. Um, they are enjoying, you know, the items, that, the tangible items that they have in their life. Um, and they are looking forward and they've got goals. So what else do I need to know? Okay. Mm. My general energy for the week, for cancer or for me, is the Eight of Pentacles. It's telling me that I'm working very hard towards um, my goal. Um, and I'm like, you know, putting all the effort in towards something better. So this is my general energy for the week. Um, I might be in a bit of a defensive mode with the nine of wands. Because normally when you've got the nine of wands, it is telling you that you have built up a wall. Um, you have built in boundaries, you know, that everyone cannot get through your wall or your boundaries. It's just basically, I think, the reason why is because um, it's self-protection. It's basically you're protecting your mind, you're protecting your heart, possibly. Um, let me really see, what else do I need to know with the Moonology card? What does Chantal need to know? Okay. 
I'm very happy so far for my week ahead. There's a lot of communication coming my way. Okay, so we've got... Hmm. I've got the card. Luck is on your side. What else? Hmm. I am good enough. Let me see what else. If Johnny is still here, we're not buffering anymore. <laughs> okay. Then I've got balance, spirituality, and practicality. So I'm up too much up in my head. Okay, and the general energy, my energy is gaining momentum. Let's quickly see what does my love interest want to tell me and what do I want to tell them? My love connection. So yeah, what I wanted to inform you guys as well is I've created um, a few oracle decks. I will leave the online shop, shop platforms link below in the description box. Um, then also I would like you to um, subscribe to my other two YouTube channels. Um, Dream Infinity 88 and then Dream Infinity Brand on YouTube. Dream Infinity Brand is a, a meditational channel um, where I create videos with relaxing meditational music and then then my other channel the Dream Infinity 88 is where I create videos with my um, three Chow Chow boys um, where I basically show the world, you know, that the Chow Chow breed is very misunderstood. Um, and they are actually just a big ball of fluff. Okay, so let me just quickly check here. So, yeah, my love connection wants to tell me. My soul bloom in love for you. <laughs> okay. And then, what I want to tell my love connection. I want fantasy flirt in paradise. <laughs> I want to tell my love connection that I want fantasy flirt in paradise. <laughs> okay, and then um, a possible love connection might coming my way. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure, Nina, anytime. Okay, so for me, a love connection coming my way. Maybe Christmas. They sell bloom for me. And then, um, regarding a recent past love connection or a past love connection, things are making more sense. So, yeah, I think I want to still tell my love connection, whoever is in my energy, I want fantasy flirt in paradise. <laughs> oh, oh the, the card that fell out that I didn't see. We belong together. Okay, so I need to pull a card for Nina. For the market. Okay, let me quickly pull up.